API. What does API mean? API stands for Application Programming Interface. It allows two applications to communicate and talk to each other, to access and exchange data. Every action you take on your phone, like sending a tweet or checking the score of a football game, ordering food or even buying a cinema ticket, uses an API to access and deliver that information. Now, let's get into a simple example. Think you're in a restaurant and you want to have a nice meal. You look upon the menu and you choose a nice meal and a nice wine. The waiter will write down all of them, but who is going to prepare them? Yes, the chef. The waiter takes the orders to the chef and as soon as they are prepared, the chef calls the waiter and will give him the food you ordered. Then, the waiter brings you what exactly you have ordered. The main reason of this process was to communicate with the chef. So in this procedure, the waiter is our API. Now, let's get into a more realistic example. When you search online for flights, you have a menu of options to choose from. You choose a departure city and a date, a return city and a date, cabin class, and other options like your meal, your seat, or baggage requests. To book your flight, you need to interact with the airline's website to access the airline's database to see if any seats are available on those dates and what the cost might be based on the specified date. You need access to the information from the airline's database, whether you're interacting with it from the website or an online service that aggregates information from multiple airlines. And it doesn't matter if you're using your mobile phone, your laptop, or any device. APIs do the same for all interactions between applications, data, and devices. They allow the transmission of data from system to system. In any case, you need to get the information from the airline's database. And so the application must interact with the airline's API, giving it access to the airline's data. The API is the interface that, like your helpful waiter, runs and delivers the data from the application you're using to the airline's database using the internet. It also then takes the airline's response to your request and delivers right back to the travel application you're using. Nowadays, developers are much more productive than they were before when they had to write a lot of code from scratch. With an API, they don't have to write dozens lines of code. Instead, they can focus on the unique proposition of their applications while outsourcing all of the commodity functionality to the API. Also, APIs can speed up the app development process, which can help keep the app's cost down. From all these examples, we understand one thing. APIs just allow applications to communicate with one another. This was a simple way to understand what does actually an API do in our life. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for my next videos and wishing you a wonderful time. Peace.